Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the first half of February. This is your financial reading for the first half of February. Uh, this month, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and make sure to choose all notifications if you get the pop-up. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you uh, this month for month of February. All right. Has been a pretty good month for pretty much everybody, so uh, we will see. You have the uh, Three of Diamonds coming up first and the Joker. I'd say no no get-rich-quick schemes or anything like that this month. Um, you know, I would avoid, and again, I would avoid uh, friends as far as money is concerned as well. You're the first person to get that message this month. Uh, I would just be careful of, like, you know, friends trying to rope you into some sort of get-rich-quick scheme or something like that, or I would just avoid mixing friends and money all together here with these cards. Again, you have positive cards, but... You know, most of these cards just talk about avoiding that. Uh, this could be getting tricked into something, again, not like in a bad way, but just like, you know, getting yourself into something that you, you know, you might regret. So I'd be careful of that. Uh, Three of Diamonds does say be careful of all your paperwork in regards to finances. Again, it's not a bad card. It's just a warning card. And again, even if something does happen with this card here, you know, it's usually just like a minor annoyance, like you have to, you know, refile paperwork or you have to go back over something. So uh, again, just make sure you're paying attention as far as, you know, important contracts or important pieces of paperwork are concerned. I would say also in work as well. I've been saying this all year. Uh, you know, there's definitely some stuff in this chart here that uh, to me could represent like, you know, you getting a job and then you sign a contract and, you know, maybe they add stuff in. Not like on purpose. I don't think this is like a malicious energy, but it's like maybe, you know, they tell you your job is one thing, but then they add all the stuff into the contract that you originally didn't agree to. So just make sure you're, you know, double checking your contracts and paperwork and all that other stuff. Uh, next, you have the Jack of Hearts here and the Ace of Hearts. So uh, again, this is financial reading, but love could be important as far as money is concerned you know this could represent being in a positive relationship which could again increase your finances you could also say if you have a partner their finances could be increasing as well which you know again there could be like additional benefits going along with that i would say if it's not love this could just be an offer uh, you know pretty simple this is just an offer coming in ace hearts same thing could be an offer that makes you very happy so this could be a job offer or if you haven't had a job for a long time it could be a job offer uh, you know that makes you very happy it also talks about passions Pretty much every fire sign that I've read for uh, gets these cards of needing to get a job that get, is, is passion based. Uh, you and water, um, you know, both water and air, fire, for some reason, get these, you know, kind of like needing to start something based off of a passion, a business, a job, and you'll probably be a lot happier if you do that here. Uh, next, you have the five of spades taking some sort of a risk, yeah, and jack of clubs. I, I feel like this says don't beat yourself up over past financial risks. Um, you know, so again, if you try to start a business, you spent a bunch of money and it didn't work out. I feel like this is saying like move on from that and you know do not you know take it as a learning lesson. But you know, this is kind of like guilt and or you know, feeling kind of like guilty feelings. So I feel like you need to let go of those feelings if you are having them. Uh, for others, again, this is you taking a risk. So I feel like you need to take another risk, um, you know, even if you took one already and it didn't work out. So I feel like there's a, ne a need for you to, uh, you know, I feel like there is a need for you to do that, uh, to take some sort of risk. I feel like this is saying be careful with your words as well. Uh, again, you fire signs are the only ones that get this message of, of needing to be very, very like specific with your words in regards to business or work. And I mean, it's kind of hard for me to explain. I don't even know what the message is trying to say in the first place, but, you know, I feel like it's just saying that, um, you know, in business communications and things like that, I feel like you need to know, like, how much to say and, like, how much not to say and, like, all this other stuff. I, I wouldn't say that you're playing your cards close to your chest here, but I would just say I feel like you need to be very tactical in, in your, uh, you know, kind of financial dealings and business communications. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Spades, existing problems being resolved. Yeah, some of you could be cutting something out. I've been getting this message for almost everybody uh, for a while now that I feel like there could be, uh, you know, just a better job for for you. And I feel this for like a lot of people, but it's like one of those things where it's like you probably don't need to leave the job that you have right now, but there could also be something better is what I'd say here. It's like one of those few times where I will say like the grass probably is greener on the other side. So if you're thinking about leaving your job and getting something else, uh, you know, again, I would get something lined up. I wouldn't just leave a job and then hope that something comes in. But, you know, again, there could be a situation here where you get to leave or you have an opportunity 
to leave and there could be some real benefits for others again this could just represent healing and health so i do yeah i do feel i, I feel like some of you are trying to get um social security or uh, workman's comp or something like that i feel like there could be some progress there if you're one of those people uh, for others i feel like this is just saying that again if health has been preventing you from working i feel like there could be a change in health or there could be something that kind of um, you know makes you more healthier you're just maybe you're just feeling more awake more alive and that allows you to get more work done and uh, finally, six of clubs. I love this. And king of clubs. Yeah, I love that even more. It's like you go from the jack of clubs to the king of clubs, you know, by the time we get maybe more towards the middle of the month. So it's like you are maturing financially in some way here. Six of clubs, the card of growth, progress, incremental improvements. So I do feel like there could be improvements in your um you know, business or work. This card does say don't take on too many responsibilities. I feel like it's a, you know, I've tried to say this as well. Like I talk about this a lot in the daily readings. I feel like it's more important that at work that we focus our responsibilities and that we don't take on too much. Like, you know, there's a lot of this energy where, like I said, with the contract thing, it could be like bosses coming in and they just want to stack a bunch of responsibilities on you, maybe because you're a really hard worker. But, you know, it's like now it would be time to say no, <laughs> you know, no, I'm not going to do all that. I, I am best at doing this and whatever that skill is and this is what i need to focus on i feel like we need to be more assertive at work you know especially if we have a job we have a job and i feel like we need to realize like what we are truly good at and um, because again there's like this thing with time i feel like it's really important that we spend our time doing what we are good at not like all this like extra random stuff um you know saturn and capricorn is about removing inefficiency um you know from our lives so it's like you know i'm sure you can think of like how many you know how many jobs out there where are there where like there's just like all this extra stuff that people have to do i think over the next like probably not just three years with saturn and capricorn but probably over like the next eight years we're going to see the breakdown of um anything that is inefficient in regards to business. It's like if you look at the medical field, you know, it's ridiculously inefficient. You look at like policing, for example, I have to file like a billion reports. It's like incredibly inefficient. All that stuff is going to go away. Um, and again, no matter what you do, uh, there could be things that just don't have like a return for, for your business or for the business you work for. And, you know, again, we're going to see those things fall away. So I feel like there's like an assertive energy here. I hope that made sense. Hope that wasn't too crazy, but that's what I see. Uh, for others, again, just success. So I feel like there's just success coming in for you. Uh, but it looks really good, Aries. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.